here. I'm doing a, my favorite warm-up series, and this is my other favorite warm-up with the swing hanging again just about my waist level. This is an easy place for people to enter the swing for the first time. It's not too low, it's not too high. So I'm going to stand in front of my swing, and I've got my loops, by the way, two below my swing. If you want to, if you have a lot of flexibility, you can hang the loop one below the swing, and if you have less, you can go three below the swing. Two is about average. So we're going to take the arms up, inhale, and then the arms go behind the swing. Excellent. So I'm going to bring the straps around so that it's like a tank top strap right there. I'm going to bend my knees, bring my feet together. They don't have to be together, they can be shoulder width apart. Bend my knees, lift my heels, and slide forward. Just first starting with my hips slightly back. And then I'm going to bring my hips forward into a little bit of a plank, and then back, and a little bit of a plank, and back, just to feel that core connect. I'm going to bring my arms around. Uh, and look up a little bit. Now you want to be careful that they don't bow, so we want to pull back a little bit. And I'm just going to st start to stretch just a little bit side to side. And then I'm going to put my one heel down. And that's the side I'm going to stretch to. So this heel is up. My hands can be together or apart. Stretch. And then I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to change feet. It's a little easier to maintain this if you lift that heel. And here we go. If I were lower, this would be harder. This also establishes the feeling of I'm hanging in the swing. I'm supported. I feel safe. It's fun. So it's nice to put fun right in the beginning. All right, I'm coming back, bringing my hands together, lifting up. I'm going to lift those heels again and look forward. Core, 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 bringing my hands down. I'm still leaning forward, but I want to bring my knees to the floor. And then I'm going to pull up with a rounded spine. I'm going to squeeze with my armpits and pull up. Sometimes we call this one praying for mercy that it's over soon. It's harder than it looks. Again, it's core, legs, and one more time. I'm going to put my heels down and let my hips slide back. Oh, yeah. Good. If I want to make it a little bit more core intense, I'll come forward, down, up, forward, down, around, forward. Okay, stretching back, stretching back, heels down, bend the knees all the way, it's going down, 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 I'm going to lift my heels, this is fun. And back you go. Whoa, so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna move those, but you can also just hold on to the swing. And then I'm gonna come forward. Whoa, that's so fun. <laughs> that's my favorite thing. And back you go slowly. You wanna resist being pulled backwards. Have all the fun on the way forward. Here we go. Whoa, hips are in alignment, which means that they're down but not bowed. Back you go slowly. Forward. And this time I'm going to stay back. Whew. I'm going to bring myself into center point. That means I'm hanging in a plumb position with those straps hanging straight down. And just to get these out of the way, you can, you can uh, put your hands behind your head or put your hands in your loops. So here I am, nice and easy, just resting like a beautiful day at the beach. And I'm going to look up, I'm just going to start slowly with my upper body only. 
and then I'm working into my whole body. So I'm using my legs, just having fun. Sideways moves in the swing. up and then I'm going to bring the hips down. I'm going to show what I'm doing with the hands in the loops. I'm going to press the, the arms down and lift my hips up. So this is a core bracing exercise that works the lats and the hips in the core. Drop down. Bring it around. Push down with the arms and up with the hips. If you want to just see that movement by itself, which you can do in your warm up very easily, there is your core bracing. And when you come down, you want to make sure that your shoulders stay down, but you're not up here. You want to keep engaged right where your wings are the whole time. Excellent. And one more of those just to see it. Excellent. And then from here, I like to go into this next exercise where you put your leg through the loop above the knee. You can open up that fabric and you can either hold on to the other loop and run your hand up the swing, use a little elbow grease for more support, or you can hold both hands on the swing with the elbow grease. Just for filming, I'm going to hold this one today out there. I'm going to let this knee drop down to the floor. Then I'm going to lift this knee off the floor, but at the same time, I'm using that elbow grease. I'm pressing down here and I'm pressing down there. So the more you press down, the easier it is to lift that leg off the ground. Excellent. Then you're going to lift the hips up. And although this looks challenging and it gets you off the floor right away, it's amazing how many people can actually do this. It's the lift of the hips that makes it a winner. Excellent. Now I'm going to bring that leg down, take this one out. I usually do more than three reps, but anyway, for filming today, three. They can really only do about four or five. Elbow grease, press down, knee, inhale, exhale, lift the leg and the hips. And all this core work works to warm up your whole body leg and hip, and down, and one more time, leg and hip. If you want to and you have a fly, high flying group, you can take it up and cross that leg for a high flying stretch. I'm going to lift my hips, I'm going to look over my shoulder, excellent. Now when we started this warm up, it was raining, and now the sun's out. Uh, that's it. I'm going to walk it out and excellent.